Hey everybody, welcome back. Day late and definitely not a dollar short because it was payday yesterday. So welcome here on a Friday afternoon, uh, drunk pokeru time, beer time. Um, I missed yesterday. I had to work, and by the time you get home and you have dinner, and then the big Canuck comes over and you sit outside and you have a couple beers. There's no time for videos, but I wanted to make one today for a special reason. I'm off early. I'm off all weekend. I'm going to my cousin Matt's cottage, and I am super excited. Who doesn't love going to a cottage? Like most Canadians, I don't own one. Um, it's a little out of my you know, pocketbook, but uh, it's good to have family that does, and, and I do. And uh, Matt invited us, and, uh, and me and the Canuck are going up, and, and some, uh, some other uh, male cousins. Uh, it's a guy's weekend. We're going to have some fun, play some poker, drink some beer. So what I thought I'd talk about quickly today, and we'll probably get into it over the summer, but I mean, May 2-4 is coming up very, very soon, next week, I think. Um, what I want to talk about is, what are you going to drink this summer? What are you going to drink at the cottage? Um, is it going to be craft beer? Are you going to buy 2-4 of Canadian to get those Stanley Cup rings? You know, hey, whatever. It's your choice. Uh, I'm just going to give you some options before we have a little beer today, and we'll talk about a few other things. Uh, steam Whistle Six Packs. Great idea. Six cans of beer. I bought a six pack for myself. It's good for sitting around the fire, you know. I mean, I'm not going to be reviewing beers and posting pictures and trying to talk about beers. I just want to enjoy something. Canada's finest Pilsner in a six-pack. Great idea. Fits in the fridge nicely. You know, that's a great choice. Um, I also grabbed a Stark Pils from Amsterdam. Another great choice. Good Pilsner. You know, I've had it before. It's uh, definitely something you can enjoy and it just, you know, sort of, it's, they're low ABV, you know. I mean, they're only 5%. We don't want to be punching too high yet. Now, let's, let's get into that in a second. Uh, the new, well, tomorrow, the Lagerdale. Why not? Great malty beer, you know, some good malt flavor. That's something you'd like to have, you know, when you're sitting around the campfire, you're playing some uh, lawn darts or whatever you get to do up at the cottage. Uh, the new Gosa beer from Collective Arts. I had it the other day. It's out now. Go get some. It's like a, um, it's a sour beer, but it's not crazy sour. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot more sour beers this year, so it's maybe a good place to start. It's really good. Very refreshing. A little bit of saltiness in the back because they use uh, Himalayan sea salt. So get into that. That, that. that was a little bit of fun. I um, have to maybe get one of them next week, and we'll talk more about it. Uh, Saint of Circumstance, of course, from my boys Collective Arts again. <sighs> this beer is fantastic. Low ABV. I think, what is it? 4.7%. I mean, excellent, excellent. You have a couple of those. You're not going crazy. Um, you want a lager? Why not go to Cameron's? Captain's Log Lager. It's nice flavor, grainy, a little bit of maltiness. You know, and not again, not high ABV. Or of course, there is. If you're going to a cottage, how do you not have Muskoka? You know what I mean? Like these are the ton of options here. I mean, there's so many more. I, I'm, I'm forgetting them. I don't have them. Whatever. I'm just trying to show you a couple of choices for this weekend. Uh, when you get into pale ales now, this is a fantastic option. Cruiser All Day Pale Ale from uh, Amsterdam. Do you know why it's a great option? Because it's 4.7%. It's an APA style, so American style pale ales, but still bitter. Still got that, you know, that uh, citrus hoppiness in there. So you're still getting a good beer, but you're not getting the ABVs. And that's, again, with the detour, too. Like those two, two beers are kind of good for that. Um, now we're going to talk about maybe you're going to have some slow sippers while you're barbecuing or, you know, a little later in the night when you want to bring things down a little bit now. We've got the Lone Pine IPA. These are all available at the LCBO, so you know you can find them around you. Don't worry, it's I'm not picking crazy stuff that you can't get. I think with the exception of the Gosa, which you have to go to the brewery to get that as of right now. Um, so you've got your Lone Pine IPA from Sada City. Uh, of course, Octopus wants to fight. I think I've mentioned them like 8,000 times this year. It's a great beer. Headstock, you can never go wrong with from. Um, Nickelbrook. I mean, there's there's naughty neighbor. I just I grab some stuff off the shelves because I have so many. We have so many options when you go. Why get a two four Canadian? Why get a two four Coors Light? Why not mix it up and have some fun? Have some great tasting beers, low ABV, supporting local brewers. I mean, you don't have to fall into that trap of everybody shows up with a two four of Miller Genuine Draft. It's not a terrible beer. I enjoy one on occasion if I stop by and somebody's got some. But for the love of God, I mean this is a huge weekend for me. I don't get weekends off and I never take weekends away from Mrs. Pokeroo. So it's a big deal for me. I want to really enjoy it and I want to make memories and be present the whole time. So you know I'm really not I mean this looks like a lot of beer and it is and and 
you know, I'm sure we're going to have a pop too many, but not like we used to, and not like I used to anyways. You know, um, I want to be present. I want to enjoy it. Uh, Ransack, again, like, like Octopus, these are my two go-tos. I probably have two or three of them in a week each because they're just wonderful. And new to the LCBO, and, and do yourself a favor. Go get some of this. Flight Delay IPA. I picked one up. This is my empty can, but I picked one up. It's in the fridge outside from Barnstormer out of Barry. They're just getting into the LCBOs. Get one. It's a delicious IPA. Any of these. And then there's probably, again, a ton more. I'm just giving you a couple options from, from my uh, my little collection here. Um, so this big boy in the middle here is coming up with me. It's uh, from my it's my last beer from my stop at Flying Monkeys. It's Saint Beatnik, a chocolate stout, um, seven point seven percent. I'm thinking dessert tomorrow. You know, split this. This is a slow sipper. Just kind of ease out of that dinner. Yeah, you know, kind of just like that was a good day. And you're waiting to light the fire. You know, and and, and make some pie irons or some you know some spider dogs or I, I don't know. If we're going to have any s'mores, I'm not a huge s'mores guy, so this is a s'mores. But anyways, a beer to share, though. I'm not going to drink this all myself. I could, but I'm bringing it up to share. So it's a it's a great idea. It's a great, great, uh, great beer to, to share and to have fun with. Um, so one other thing before we have a beer. One of my novelty glasses from Winter Brew Fest. Uh, not a great experience, but it's a glass. It's filled with high-quality, delicious H2O. They say, poker, why, why H2O? And I say to you, you need to make sure you stay hydrated and drink some damn water. Okay? So don't forget that. It's important. Water's delicious. I like water. I like tap water, so I'm a little bit crazy that way. You know, Hamilton tap water is good. I don't care what anybody says. Stay hydrated. You know, I don't know if you have a water between beers. You might get too bloaty. But, you know, one in every other beer. Have a glass of water. Slow down a second. You know, what's the rush? What's the race? The race to oblivion? You don't want to do that. Okay? Be with me. Hang out. Let's stay up all night and talk and laugh and have fun and drink some damn good beer. All over the place, this is good beer. Okay? Giving you lots of lots of uh, options, lots of options. Um, I got time for a quick review. Um, you know, I, it, it's not that I don't like to review beers. I actually really enjoy it. It's kind of what I do. But... I like being able to talk to you guys about just different ideas that we have. You know, if you guys got some ideas you want to talk about, hey, send me an email, you know. Um, hung out with uh, Paul the Beer Guy and his wife Michelle on Wednesday at Blue Dogs and had an amazing time. Um, talked a lot about future plans. So, you know, I'd like to meet up with as many craft beer lovers as I can. You know, send me an email. If I'm in your town or you're in my town, let's hook up. Let's go have a craft beer and talk about uh, talk about all the wonderful things this country has to offer. Um, to celebrate my weekend off, of course, I'm going to celebrate with a beer. And it is available in the LCBOs, an Inasante beer. We love Inasante here at Pokeroo Manor. Steve Inasante was a genuine, uh, caring individual when we went to the tour on the Brew Donkey Tour. So, you know, his beer was, I loved his beer before I met the man. I've met the man, and now I, I can see why the beer is so good because he, he just cares. The guy cares about his beer, and he cares about his. His, his people who drink his beer, his, his customers. Um, so this is available. It's bystander. It's an American Pale Ale. Now, the reason I chose this one is, quite simply, haven't had it before. And 4.7 ABV. So not a huge, boozy APA, um, but I'm expecting to still get some good flavors. Now, like I said, I've got, you know, I'm I'm going to have an octopus tonight. Of course I am. I'm going to the cottage. I Last time I went to the cottage, I brought like a 2.4 of MGD, and that was what I drank. You know, I'm going to bring some damn good beers with me. I'm going to bring some nice high ABV, AB, high ABV beers to enjoy and sip. But, you know, I'm going to have some good stuff like the regular old steam whistles here, you know, or maybe a cruiser, you know, a uh, Stark Pills. You're going to have something there. But, uh, you know, hey, let's have a beer, though. <sighs> Celebrate the weekend. Is that not like the best sound in the world next to the bottle opening, that little glug glug when it goes into the glass? Freaking love it. I am using the Spiegeloo. Um, two reasons. One, my Inasante glass is dirty because the I haven't done the dishes from last night. <laughs> and we had uh, that big Canuck at a Giant's Causa, which is a great, great beer you can get it at the uh, the brewery. So tons of active carbonation, big head, beautiful caramel color. I mean, it, it's already it's singing to me 
Happy Friday. Um, cheers. Wow. That's a lot of flavor for 4.7% ABV. Holy crap. Um, great malt body. Getting some, of course, pineapple and grapefruit in there, but it's that bitter, piney, resinous back end that makes a great APA, uh, as well as the malt body. So, I mean, that's that's a great way to start my day out. Because you know what? Um, we got to hit, hit the road soon. And passenger, not driving. Um, we hit the road. We're going to go hit some breweries tomorrow, hopefully out by the uh, the cottage out there in King Carden. So, um, really looking forward to that. But, guys, if you're going to the cottage, especially if you're going next week, Stop by the LCBO, hit your local brewery up, get some good beers, get some new beers, get some beers you've never had, enjoy them, enjoy them with your friends, share them with your friends, you know, and remember, hydrate, 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 H2O, baby, all the time. Um, I'm a big advocate of it, I'll be, you know, mixing in uh, the water between beers, uh, but come on, guys, let's, uh, let's have fun, be responsible, raise your standards, raise your glass, one beer at a time. That's a delicious APA. Go pick one up at the LCBO. Cheers to the weekend. I'll see you next week. Oh, glad I picked up two. <laughs>